Hey there, everybody. Welcome to today's Bible in One Year. Today we read Luke chapters 3 through 6, and we're going to take at one of my favorite parables that Jesus tells. It's in chapter 6, verses 46 through 49, um, the parable of the two builders. Um, some This might be really familiar for some of you, but um, Jesus starts out by saying, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? That one convicted me. <laughs> he goes on and says, as for, as for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. Now, there's two words in this passage that caught my attention and it's a, one of those details that it's really easy to skim over, but it caught my attention, so I wanted to point it out to you all today. It says that the man dug down until he hit rock. And I don't know about you, but maybe it's just because I've read this so many times. I've typically had a picture of someone that is like going for a stroll on the beach and then sees a big rock like out on the beach and goes, oh, that looks like a solid place to build my house. Um, but what Jesus actually says is that the man had to dig down until he hit the rock and that was his foundation. And I felt like one way that we can understand this is if you think about this process of digging down until you hit the foundation is that, um, when we're new to the faith, the first thing you have to do is get past the surface. So if you like literally have a shovel that you're putting to the ground, um, this is the part where you like dig that dig up that first little chunk of dirt and it's kind of hard at first because you don't really know what you're doing um, but then the more you dig the easier it gets because the ground gets softer um, for me this was when I was new in the faith and I was like oh yeah I love being at youth group and I want to go on a mission trip and I love to worship <laughs> I love to be in the word and it was like digging down into the ground um, the ground was nice and soft and it was just so awesome and then I believe that every one of us at some point in time in our walk with the Lord, um, we hit that rock and it's the first time that we're maybe kind of challenged by something that Jesus says. And we're like, huh, um, it turns out that following Jesus isn't just all rainbows and butterflies. Like there's actually some difficult things that we're confronted with. There's some things he says that might make us uncomfortable because of our sin nature. So it's that time you hit the rock and you go, wait, Jesus said what? And I'm actually supposed to obey this thing that he said? And this is such a critical point in our faith. Because this is the point where no matter what command it is for you, that's when you strike the rock, you have a choice. Because you cannot just dig around it. You can either stay at the rock and build your foundation and build your house on that rock, which is the word of God, or... You can crawl back out um, of that hole you just dug and just get back to the ways of the world. And let's say you climb back out and you're on the beach again and you realize, wow, it's so comfortable. It's so soft. I can run on this ground. I like how it feels on my feet. I can lay down and have a nice nap. This is so much better. But remember, Jesus tells us to be hearers and doers of the word if we are truly his followers. He says that, when we are digging deeper and deeper into our faith and we hit that rock that is his word, um, it's not the time to stop and retreat and go back to the comfy sand of the world. He says that that rock is my word and my word is unchanging and perfect and loving. Build your house here because this is your foundation. So that's what I want to encourage you guys with today is um, maybe it was even something just from the reading today that you were like, oh, this kind of, this is just tough for me <laughs> to receive into my heart. Or um, maybe a sin pattern is revealed to you that you're like, man, I'm just having a hard time surrendering this sin pattern, laying that down, dying to it, and, um, and actually committing to the Lord in this area of my life. Um, but I want to encourage you, like, you've come this far, and Every single, this might happen multiple times, but every time you, you're digging, you're digging, you're digging into the word of God and into your walk with him, 
and you hit that rock, Jesus encourages, encourages us and he says, this is where I want you to build your foundation because the most intense, crazy storm could come against you and you will not be shaken. He says, stand on my word. You will not be shaken. And finally, one last piece of encouragement is to know that Jesus himself is our shovel. He's the one who enables us in the first place to even dig down and to go deeper and deeper into our faith because he is the author and the perfecter of our faith. And it is God who both works and wills in us to work according to his good purpose. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you next time.